Hello! Today, I'm going to show you how to scramble a Rubik's Cube according to WCA regulations. For uh, starters, we have a few things to cover first. So, um, when you are looking at a cube, there are six different types of moves. Um, each face is designated by a letter when you're looking at the scramble. For example, um, here we have our top layer, um, which is going to be this layer right here. Okay, that's our top layer. Then, we, if we have, this is our top layer, this is going to be our down layer right down here. We also have our right layer, our left layer, our front layer, and our back layer, okay? So there's a couple different types of moves on these. Um, you'll see capital letters that correspond to this. So for our up layer, you'll see a capital U, which is denoting this. For the bottom layer, you'll have a D. For the L, or for the left side, you'll have an L, and for the right side, you'll have an R. For the front, you have an F, and for the back, you have a B. There are a couple of different move possibilities with that. Uh, if you see just a capital U, that means you will turn the top 90 degrees clockwise. Okay? If you see a capital U followed by an apostrophe, that is called U prime, and that means you turn the top 90 degrees counterclockwise. And if you see a U, capital U followed by a 2, that means you'll turn the top 180 degrees. And it doesn't matter which direction you turn it, because it'll end up the same. Same thing with the right side and left side. If you see a capital, um, or, or and the front side, if you see a capital F, that means you turn the front clockwise 90 degrees. If you see a capital F followed by an apostrophe, that is counterclockwise by 90 degrees, or one twist. And if you've seen F2, that is 180 degrees. So, with that knowledge, um, you, you now know how to scramble, but you're probably wondering, what about faces like the backside? Like, which way is clockwise and counterclockwise? Well, you need to imagine that you're looking at the face. So, for um, example, the right face, this is the right face here. If you see a capital R, you want to imagine that you're looking at the right face and then it turns clockwise. Just like if um, you see uh, a capital R followed by an apostrophe or an R prime, imagine you're looking at the right face and it goes counterclockwise. So just like for B on the back, a B on the back would be a clockwise turn, which is this. And if you're looking directly at the face, you'll notice it turns the same direction. This is a B, this, like this. And then you have a D down here. A D clockwise would be that direction. A D prime would be this direction. So when you're first starting, you can just take a look at the cube and be like, oh, I need to do an L move. Turn it, do your L move, and then turn back. That way you know you did it. When you start getting more practice, you can learn um, how that's a B and that's a D prime down there, and you can start using almost finger tricks for that. So now that we've covered basic notation, um, what orientation do you scramble the cube in? Um, because you can't just pick it up and go. There's actually an orientation for scrambling it according to the World Cube Association regulations. That is starting with your white face on top and your green face on front facing you. So this will be your default um, scrambling orientation um, on the cube. Now, let's say that there's no white face. Let's say they have a black face instead of the white face. Then you need to find the next lightest color on the cube. So looking around, the next lightest color is going to be yellow. So that will be our top face. Then you will put green on the front again, and this will be our scrambling orientation. Now let's say we have a white face but no green face. You will look um, from the white face to the nearest adjacent darkest color face. So if green is out of the picture, we're going to look at red, eh, kind of light, blue, that's really dark, and then we have orange. So since blue is the darkest adjacent face, that will be our front. So if we had a combination of the two and we didn't have white or green, we'd pick the lightest face for top, yellow, and then the next darkest face, adjacent, blue. And this would be a scramble orientation if we had neither white nor green. So now that we have our scramble orientation, let's um, do a walkthrough scramble. I have a scramble here um, for 3x3 three three from Tea Noodle, and hopefully you guys can see it. So we will um, start our scramble 
And so again, we're going to start with white on top and green on front. So the first one is a D followed by an apostrophe. That is D prime. You'll notice that this says it's scramble number one. Um, I'll cover that in a different video. So the first move is a D prime. So that's going to be a counterclockwise turn. So I'll imagine I'm looking directly at the down face and turn it counterclockwise. Here, I'll, I'll do that better. There we go. Counterclockwise. Then we have an R. I will do an R. Then we have an L. I will do an L followed by an F. So we'll do an F followed by an R prime followed by an L, followed by a U2. Remember, U2 means the top turns twice in either direction. Then we have an F. Then we have a D2, so turn the bottom twice in any direction. Then we have an R prime. We have an L2. We have F2. We have a D. We have R2. We have B2, D2. L2, U prime, B2, U prime. And once you've applied your scramble, then it's time to check it against the pictures that are generated here. And this is very important um, if you are scrambling in a competition. You can't just scramble it and send it off. You actually have to check it. So on a three by three, your white face is going to be the top square and your green face is going to be the middle square. So we'll check it here. And you'll notice on my cube, we have blue, yellow, orange, we have blue, yellow, orange, white, white, blue, which matches up, green, blue, yellow. And then if we look at the green face, we have orange, white, blue, green, green, red, green, white, green. And then if we go ahead and turn to the red face, we have red, red, white, yellow, red, green, yellow, green, orange. So after checking and confirming that three faces are correct, I like to find a few more blocks, like on this blue face, that those two blues right there to make this block on the bottom face, those two oranges to make an orange block, and on the left face, those two reds and two oranges to make another block. And I'll find the blocks around um, just to check that all the faces are correct and confirm that it's correctly scrambled. So this is a correctly scrambled cube. If it doesn't match, you need to solve the cube and re-scramble it until it is correct. Um, Sorry for the lengthy video, but hopefully this helps you understand scrambling orientation as well as cube notation and the basics of how to scramble a cube per WCA guidelines. Thank you very much.